All right, I am going to hope that this picks up. Welcome back. Sorry, part two again. I really need to learn how to pause. I don't even know what happened. My phone has been wacky. It's charged. I have it on do not disturb, but for some reason, it just uh, decided to go to some kind of game mode. And when I looked at the camera, it stopped working. So I believe the last product I hauled, excuse me, showed you in the haul was the vacuum little handheld vacuum for $7.41. My apologies, welcome back to part two. Next product is $8, crinkling, sorry, $8.32. This is huge. And so I am trying to think, where can I put it? Because I already have one, two, three, four, five, six little rugs out. I'm thinking maybe it'd be cute in the laundry room or the foyer where you walk in. But um, as you can see, I've got all the pillows in the background. I really don't want to knock over my camera. But the back has the felt again. I don't know if you could see that. Kind of a little bit adhesive. You can put on those uh, double-sided tapes or Velcros for the back. But again, this is really big. Let me take a look at the bag to see if I can set up the dimensions. So it's uh, too small for the dining room table, I think. So this might just go good in the foyer. Let me get up again. I have my phone set up on a mini tripod on the table. But you got your little Valentine's Day hearts. And uh, I am going to move this out of the way because I'm a klutz. And I'll knock it over. I am so sorry that my camera stopped recording. That sucks. You know what? Some of you guys are so, so good at these hauls. Like um, our little gingerbread house or home. She has a uh, Courtney, you know. She does this like introduction to her videos. She has a lot of cooking and just random stuff. I love because she kind of pulls you and makes you feel like you're there with her. But in the beginning, it'll say, like, welcome to my channel, and I have the music playing at the bottom, and she'll show, like, a animated, like, little cartoon in the front with snow falling or something. You gotta teach me how to do this. Hence why I was asking how far the closest airport was to you, because when I tell you I fly all over the country, it's my job, when I have longer overnights, I will rent a car where you can come see me at my hotel room and teach me i will pay you yes i could probably look online locally for somebody who's more computer savvy my kids are really good at that stuff but they're really busy my youngest is planning for his wedding the oldest has three kids at home two of them on the spectrum and works two jobs and uh teaches boxing and a couple other things so he's always busy but i do have to get some kind of help with this channel i have to learn how when things like what just happened happened where it stopped recording randomly and I have to come back with a part two. I don't want to upload two videos. First off, I don't know if it's because my recording is done on the phone, but it will literally take like six hours minimum to upload a 40 minute video. And then when I have to do a part one and part two, I just, I feel really bad because I know me watching, I, I want to learn a little bit about you, but of course I can get distracted with my ADHD very easily. I want my page to be better. I want to link descriptions. I, I want to make it easier for you to stay and to continue watching me. You know what I mean? So give me some advice, make it constructive and I'll respond better. But um, yeah, teach me, teach me, help me help you. Will you help me help me so I can improve this channel for you. Next product. Now, Initially, I was going to give this to him for Valentine's Day, or no, back up his birthday was yesterday. I was going to give it to him for his birthday, but I'm glad um, I just gave him some money and took him out for basically celebrated for four days, went out to eat like four times my treat, went and saw a show, uh, went and saw his daughter, bought him like the balloons and a bunt cake and... He's a, he's a sugar addict, so a huge bag of different candies. Went to a special candy store. and Anyway, anyway this was $5.73. I don't want to pull it out of the bag because I'm afraid I'm going to destroy it. But I'm hoping there's instructions. 
So what it is, it's one of those explosive boxes. But hold on, I just remembered. I didn't give you the size of that rug, right? Let me see if it's on the wrapper. The wrapper. Glasses, I go to move the headband. So the rug I got, that heart rug, it was 31 by 47 inches. 31 by 47 inches. And again, it was $8.32. And that's big. Sorry, I just realized I had forgot that. But this is one of those explosive boxes. And the dimensions, it's red. It says it's 9.45 by 9, comma, 45 by 6 and 3 inches. And it's pretty big. The ribbon on it says just for you and it's one of those boxes so it, it'll come like just and there was a video when i saw this and fell in love with it i'm just going to show you the vacuum box so let's say it's just like this looks like a little red box but when he opens it it's going to explode into layers right so actually when the box opens there's pockets. So like on this flap here, there's like four pockets. This one might be two. This one on the outside, there's just little compartment spaces. Maybe I'll take it out, but I, I'm sure it's going to be a biatch to uh, put together. I've never done this before. I've seen them where they explode and butterflies come out. But what I'm going to do for this is, um, you know, I love giving little trinkets. Uh, my love language is, you know, words of acknowledgement, and uh, just little gifts, whether it's a love note. But, yeah, there's so many different pieces to this, you guys. So the ribbon, that's just a plain old silky ribbon. It's not very cheaply made. Then it has, like, the tape. So I don't know if the tape, I, I'm assuming the tape is double-sided to hold the compartments together. And this will probably take me three hours to figure out. So the tape is not, doesn't appear, it's just tape to be double-sided. And then the sash, the ribbon to wrap around, just says, just for you. You can see that, kind of hard with the lighting. And then... Like I said, it's just different sized boxes. So I got, I, I'm going to have to watch the video and pull it up in my orders and see how to put it together. So you've got this and then you've got this. And I'm, of course, the tape, you would probably just tape up on the inside. Let me know if you guys have ever purchased anything like this or used it. But I believe it just went, it unravels. It'll be like that. I don't see any instructions. Worst case scenario, if I get frustrated with my uh, short temper. Like it doesn't take a whole lot to get me frustrated, you guys. Just like I'm getting frustrated because this tape. Sorry for the crinkling. I look like I am shrinking into the couch. You get a chair, readjust with my back and neck problems. Worst case scenario, again, $5.73. It's got a whole bunch of just little red boxes, and I'll just get, even the dollar store, get, you know, a little packet of almond roca or something for him, and maybe the silicone wedding band and another or a gift card and another. So when it explodes, my idea was to have each little compartment and box stuffed with something cute. Um, if I can figure that out, again, I won't be home for a week, so I won't be doing another haul probably for another week to 10 days. Um, hopefully I'll have some more packages come in. Trust me, your girl's been shopping a lot. That's what I do when I'm stressed. And then I get stressed when I see how much I spent. But with Timo, I'm shopping like a billionaire, right? So next product is something I pulled before. I'm not going to take this out of the plastic. It was $3.59. Actually, I lied. I am going to take it out of the uh, plastic because it's different. 
than the other ones I've had. Again, if you go back to some of my other hauls, there's one where I gave you a tour of my house and showed you some of, some of my Can't Talk favorite products. And I had this in my uh, spare bedroom, which I use as like my makeup room. This is different. I am gonna have to look at the description. I am not sure why there are only these little hose. Help me out, you guys. Do you know what this is? Is this for brooch brooches? I, I'm lost because there's nothing, no openings on the side. And I don't know what can I stick in there. What I thought it was, anyway, it's got the string that you hang up. And if I could take the phone off the iPod, I'd show you the, uh, damn, I can't talk today. The phone off my claw. What do they call that? That it's sitting on, duh. Whatever. The holder. Um, the ones that I've got before, now it's felt, and this one's really thick, is it would have these little inlets, these little tabs, and they'd have the square, so it would be a square like this, and it would have two and two for your earrings. You would just take your earrings and place them in there with the backs and then you have it displayed. I'm gonna wear these green earrings with this green shirt today or these hoops with this. But this, they're just circles. What am I gonna put on there for the circles? I have no idea. But I uh, definitely, uh, I'm gonna be trying to send this back. Um, I mean, it was only $3.59. But I have no idea what I got it for. I thought it was an earring holder because one of my favorite things to haul is jewelry from Timu. And I like to mix up, I especially love earrings and not so much necklaces, but I'd probably say in order um, for the holidays, I always have a brooch or a pin, whether it's a heart for Valentine's Day or Santa for Christmas. Especially, you know, with kids on the flight or unaccompanied minors that, you know, are flying by themselves. I, I like to be a little more festive. But yeah, it was $3.59. I am at a loss. I am so confused by that one. Sorry, got to look that up. Again, there's not a lot of products, but because I talk so damn much, that's why this has taken so long. Now, um, this, again, uh, if you fall, I love bohemian. Bohemian, everything. I love wood decor. This was $6.79. However, I might have mixed up the prices because it's kind of like a set. Um, I believe it's a dupe. In fact, I'm 100%. I've got this before. But I have a um, way my dining room is off the kitchen, and we have an island where the stove is and some bar stools for extra seating. And then I have my um, antique china hut and my baker's rack. Um, but with the china hut, it's um, a little bit shorter than the bar that goes straight across, but I like table runners over it. So I'll put like the table runner over the island bar and then try to match it up to the one on the china cabinet or even down... Um, in the dining room table so yeah this was the table runner and i love the crochet print it might not be identical to one i just did i believe two or three hauls ago at tops but i just love the simplicity of that taupe off beige it's like a cream color here with the brown and because i do have a lot of um farmhouse basically my dining room is more of a farmhouse um decor and the kitchen is kind of like uh, a little more retro deco um it's a little bit of this a little bit of that but um yeah so i've got the table runner and again that's mainly the main theme in the uh dining room is farmhouse style and then i kind of try to time together and yeah. Oh, okay. It is different. So now what I could do is I could put the table runner over the china cabinet. I can put it down. Um, we just got a new dining room table. It's like rectangular, but then it can go to square too if we don't have the middle piece in. And what I'll do is because it's just Jay and I, it's a uh, set, but of course bought it separately. This was $9.59 and they are just the placemat. 
And I do have some napkins. I have both this color taupe, the cloth napkins with little bamboo, uh, cute little rings. And so what I'll normally do is set up, um, depending if we're having the family over for dinner, I will set it up uh, with just the placemats for Jay and myself. Um, if it's like um, a holiday dinner, then obviously one, two, our table sits. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think six or eight, and then with the bar stools is another two. Why do I think they gave me four, three, three? Okay, there is a set of four. So, figure about two bucks each. But even just to have these out, you know, have the table set up. Obviously, when we're eating, like, to go bring something home we're not gonna be fancy smancy but i just i like the look of it and it ties really good with the wood stuff this okay you guys i am a simple simple woman um <laughs> i don't carry a purse it has never been my thing i think when i was maybe early adolescence, 12 or 13, I'd have those little Jordage. Jordage, remember those? Little kind of sling purses with the rope. And I had my little lip gloss, my compact mirror, chapstick. And even as an adult, because I lose everything, and as a flight attendant, I've, I'm carrying a minimum of two bags. I've got my work trip bag. Usually it's the 22-inch roller bag. Then I've got my... Um, Meal bag, so to speak, where a lot of time I should be meal prepping more, but I'm guilty to. I'll spend like almost two hundred dollars a week on food at the airport. It's expensive, especially in longer overnights. So I use that for like my cosmetics and toiletries, and I bring my own, you know, like hair products. And anyway, it gets heavy toting it around, especially if you're switching aircraft like four times a day and working a four day trip. I don't want to worry about bringing a purse as well. So I have the wallet that is a phone wallet. And I just have my phone in there and my credit card. Very little cash, except for tipping the shuttle drivers and whatnot. My credit cards if I want to go shopping. But I saw this purse. And I, Timo had basically said, oh, you had so many orders. You have so many subscribers. You're considered an influencer. Well, I don't want to influence anybody. I just want to be under the influence. See what I did there? Just kidding. This wine sucks. I want to buzz, and that's not going to do it. It's like apple juice. Anyway, fell in love with this purse. I believe it's some, what do they call those, Markov stoops? But I was like, okay, you know what? Especially vacationing, like Jay always carries a backpack. But I'm so worried about somebody stealing my purse or something. But I don't know. I, I just, this purse was calling me. And I'm like, this will go really good with my Timberlands. This will go really good with my work boots. This is just cute. So maybe I'm going to just start using it, even if it's my cosmetic bag and I only bring my roller bag on work trips and use this for my toiletries. Anyway, I thought it would be good with jeans. I love that it comes in this, like, terry cloth to protect it, but I love it. I might start wearing a purse, you guys, like. I always have candy and gum because obviously I can't vape on, um, no, I just mentioned it, so I got to hit it on my trips, but let me show you. I think it's a uh, mark off. You tell me. I'm not into designer stuff. I don't know much about it. But, uh, what's it say? It's like uh, black gold. It's got like a little golden pearl embellishment. It's got that little keychain. Yeah, I guess you could say it's a keychain. Little kind of, maybe that'd even be a bracelet because it's got like the clip on it. Although that would bother the hell out of me. But I love the leaf. The handles are, um, I'm gonna take it all out. I hope I get some sleep tonight. I have to. I didn't even go get my nails done, but I have that 30-hour overnight, and we're staying next to a mall, so I gotta find 
some kind of place to get my nails done. You got a zipper on the back. Some money in there. Timu credit card. Does Timu have gift cards? Hey, you know what? Somebody out there tell me. A lot of you are also haulers and have your own YouTube channel. Shout out to my peeps. But uh, seriously, uh, does Timu have gift cards? Maybe instead of Cash App or Venmo, maybe it'd be easier or there's a way I can electronically send you a gift card when I do the raffle. What are your thoughts? Give me some feedback, you guys. Would you rather just have the Venmo or Cash App? I'm kind of leery about sending a check out in the mail, but I suppose I could do that. I suppose if I really, really had to, I could Western Union, but I don't want to pay the fees because if I'm sending you $50 and it costs me 20 to send, it defeats the purpose. I could mail out a personal check, but I, I'm really not keen on my personal information, my address being on there. I think Venmo and Cash App's the best, right? I mean, I obviously don't do Amazon hauls, so I don't want to send you an Amazon gift card, but we'll figure it out. Give me some advice. What do you guys want? Eh? What do you think? Please let me know. Send me a message. Leave something here in the comments. If you are one of the winners, the winner, I should say, not one of them. If you are a winner, maybe I'll do two. Maybe I'll do a 50 and a 25 or... 425s. No, if you guys want $50, I have to do at least a minimum of $150 and then maybe two $25 winners. I don't know. I'm full of surprises. Welcome to Shenanigans 321. I'll figure something out. I just wish I could set everybody something because I love all of you so much. Anyway, back to the purse. Okay. So it has the straps. Got your strap, strap. And over here, you've got the little hooks. So you can wear it as like the over shoulder sling. <gasps> I love this, you guys. I am going to uh, have this was stuck in there. You've got um, three compartments, one and then the zipper in the center. And inside the zipper, there's another little pocket there. Can you see that? So I got the pocket here and then the zipper and then the zipper will close. And then there's another little zipper. So in your main center pocket, you have a zipper. So that's one inside the big one, the solid pocket and just one without a zipper on the inside. So you got one, two, three compartments just on the inside alone. Let me double check. One, two, three. Then you've got two outside so one, and then three on the inside, and then that one, and then the outside. I'm in love with it. I have no idea if it's a knockoff from a designer. Let me know. Tell me in the comments if you're allowed to. I don't know how that works, but is that, like, supposed to be some kind of dupe from a famous designer? I love the embellishment, the little accent pieces. Oh, my gosh, that would look so good with jeans, right? Just jeans and, like... If I reverse this, get my brown boots. Yes, I'm with it. Next product. I'm gonna wait on that one because it's multiple pieces in one. This was $5.12 for the next product. I've seen a lot of people haul this. So it's just a can opener. I have my electric one, but I'm running out of counter space. It's so got my coffee bar set up now. So from what I understand on this, is when you open your can, and I probably should have brought a can just to try it out. I guess you line it up like that. I usually use the electric, again, simplicity, but I think it opens the can on the outside so you don't have those pointy sharp edges, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that has caused some damage and sliced fingers open using a regular can opener. But even camping, like, we love to camp. In fact, my truck is literally a minivan. Okay, you guys. I have a 2001, uh, I think, it is it a Nissan? No, Toyota Sienna minivan. It's, like, really good condition. I got it with very little miles. And at the time, I was a flight attendant. I was having a hard time finding an apartment. They tell you not to commute in your first year. 
and I converted it into a camper van. Put a bed in there, I got some lighting, got some curtains that go around, got little night lights, so that makes it really comfortable, and we love camping in it instead of the hassle. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love a tent. We have to have a fire. Told you guys already, I love my fires, but um, part of the garage is just sectioned off with all of our, um, like, the truck is already set up as a camper, but I just go to the airport back. I When I tell you that I buy a tank of gas, and it lasts me five weeks. I'm not lying. I drive 20 minutes to the airport and then commute on a flight for 45 minutes. Unless I can't get out of the local airport, then I drive 45 minutes to Cedar City. And regardless, we have a camping area where we keep all of our stuff in the garage. And when I tell you I've got every little doodad and gadget you can have for camping, can I tell you how many times we've went somewhere and I didn't have a can opener? We had to get like a rock and our sharp knife to open the can, you know. Um, I like to do homemade soups over a Dutch oven or homemade chili on the Dutch oven over the campfire. Amazing. Oh my God, I want to go camping now. It's too cold though. But yeah, I'll just throw that in the camping gear. Let me know if you've tried this. I should have uh, been more prepared and had a can for you guys. All right. I'm feeling better now. Again, I just hope I can go to sleep. Next product. Um, I do paint. I used to paint. I haven't painted in years, and I've got all these. When I was cleaning out the garage uh, a few weeks ago, I was like, oh my god, my art supplies. I didn't do Christmas decorations. I didn't do the garden stuff. And then our little ginger brows, or um, uh, I was just watching her, some of her. She just did a really nice wreath. Dang, why can I not think of her name? I am so sorry. It's not Hillbilly. I know she crafts too, but... Oh my gosh. Sorry, girl. You know I watch your videos because I asked if you were selling the wreath. It was amazing. It was like the tree of life with some pebbles. And Anyway, see all these crafting. I love to watch YouTube, especially, you know, Timu, but been getting into the crafting and recipes. And I'm like, I'm going to pull out my, my brushes. And, and I had eight days off almost, and I could have really done something. I mean, it's almost 1030 at night now. I could probably do something tonight, but rambling, right? Shut up, Shannon, get to it. 15 pieces for $1.34, and it's just a bunch of paintbrushes. Now, I craft, but not like you guys craft, man. You guys are insanely talented. I've never made a wreath in my life. I've got everything from candle making kits, tons and tons of the diamond painting I've never done. I don't know how to do it. Um, I basically am old school. I'll freehand sketch a picture if I'm bored. Um... But what my favorite is landscapes. I like my acrylics. So I will um, just get my canvases. You know, you can find them at the dollar store. I mean, I usually go to Michael's, but got your fan brush, right? And they're they're really, oh, yeah, really point scent. So great for the finer lines. And 15 pieces for $1.34. And once the bristles, like, look at the fine tip on that. If anybody paints like that I wonder if you could even use that for like what a eyeliner as you could see I played with my colors look can you see the uh, the like neon yellow eyeliner on my lids yeah I, I uh, wanted to color my life a little bit so I uh, pulled out some of those funky eyeliners I purchased from Timu and uh, I don't know. I just wanted to play with my makeup. You guys ever do that? Just like do my makeup. Jay is getting out of the shower, getting ready to work, go to work. And he's like, where are you going? Well, I'm not going anywhere. Why are you doing your makeup? I'm like, uh, cause I can, cause I'm bored. Even if I don't go anywhere, it makes me feel better. And I've never done a haul with you guys. Uh, not really that brave. Uh, a couple people have requested I do a get ready with me, but that's, it takes me about an hour to do my makeup. And, uh, I don't know, maybe that's something I'll do in the future. What do you guys think? Something you want me to do? Should I do a get ready with me? See that? Oh, and I got these. Have you guys ever seen these little stickers? They're clear. I mean, you could see it on the camera. But I had a nasty pimple with a stress with this last week. Woke up and it was like... <sighs> Like, God smack right in the face. It was huge. So I went to Alta when I did my hair. 
I see a stylist there, and she said, uh, it's like, yeah, it's really gross. You know, she's washing my hair, and I'm like, I'm sorry. It's like all just ready to explode, but I didn't want to pop it. And she said, you got to try these little stickers. They're medicated on the inside. And uh, you just put them on there. And I guess one to two days, it clears it up. And I literally put it on yesterday when I took it off. It 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 had already ruptured. So, of course, I didn't want to squeeze it because I don't want the scarring. And I think you can put makeup over it. I didn't. But next product is $1.74. I don't think I'm going to put them out this year because I already... Valentine's Day is going to be here again. I uh, really am going to be working a lot. You're not going to see much of me in February, so you're welcome. Um, just got my schedule out for February, and it is insane. Like, they've got me working six days on, a day and a half off, five days on, two days off. Like, normally I'm supposed to have 11 or 12 days off a month, and I'm like, why do I only have, like, eight or nine days off for the entire month? And it's because... Whether it's leap, wear, leap year or there's not that many days in January or I have to meet my quarterly hours and because I've been out with especially this, I don't even know if that's covered. But anyway, February, I was hoping to get some time off to go visit my mom in Virginia or my best friend and family in Pennsylvania and uh, I really have no time off in February. And the days that I do have off is filled with doctor's appointments and I think... I wanted Valentine's Day off and I got it, but I got to go to work that night. So it's like, <laughs> technically, you know, I have Valentine's Day off, but I have to fly back a day early because my next shift starts too early in the morning with me commuting to make it. Game changer if I lived at a base. $1.74, um, just a packet of, it is on one. Now what I do is I take my wire cutters and I'll cut that off and I'll cut that off and that and that. And that and that. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six different pieces, I guess you could say you could do. And it's just kind of like roses. And I have a couple um, vases that actually, I'll be back. I'm just going to show you. Maybe I will put it out. But I got this vase at a uh, thrift store for like 75 cents and it's just says love on it of course I washed out and then these little pieces I got from Timu and uh yeah I guess I just did throw those in so this was uh the Timu wire pieces they're just little hearts and uh of course I can organize it and make it prettier later but yeah cute right just uh Little Valentine's Day decor touches. Put that over there for now. I think we're almost done. A couple more products. I'm just going to dump it. I'm going to find out what that felt thing is with those holes. What am I going to do with those holes? Driving me nuts. As soon as I get done this video, I'm going to look at it and take something out of me sleep. Next product is $3.14. And I believe I got this for Jay. Was supposed to give it to him for his birthday, but Valentine's Day. Remember that box I told you that has the little, the exploding box? He'll have this in it, if this is what I think it is. And it is. It's just a manicure set, so to speak. So you've got your nail clippers, toenail clippers, regular nail clippers, scissors, um, tweezers, nail file, cuticle cutters. He's always saying, where are your nail clippers? I'm like, don't touch my nail clippers. Nasty ass. I'm just kidding. But yeah, that, that's perfect, actually. Now that I think about it, to put inside, it's just like the little gift, right? Little gift box. So we got his birthday's done. Literally, it's so chaotic. We have um, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and we go into New Year's. Eve, New Year's Day, obviously. Then we have his birthday, January 23rd. Then we have Valentine's Day. Then we have my birthday, March 21st. And then we have our anniversary, March 30th or 31st. So it's boom, 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 boom. And then it's pretty much dead outside of, uh, you know, I have two kids born on the same day, September 6th, 1990, September 6th, 1991, 
1250 and 1256, yes, 666, one year apart by six minutes. September 6th, September 6th, 90, 91, 1250, 1256, my son and my daughter. And then I got my youngest October 16th, and outside of that, like my mom on October 2nd, just family birthdays. And my grandkids, of course, but again, that's September 11th and July. Next product, um, what I say that was, did I say that was a, the manicure set? I think I told you the price on that. I'm sorry if I didn't. I don't know if this was the right price for it. Red one piece. I think that was it. Can I give you the price if I didn't? I might be wrong, but that said it was $1.74, but I'm thinking that this was more than that. So whatever price, if I initially told you that's what it was. And I like this little latch here. I want to open it again because it's almost, it's like magnetic. It is magnetic and it's secure so much to the point that I can't open it because I don't want to break a nail. How the heck? Oh, you push it down. Yeah. He'll like that. Um, next product was $1.39. God knows the last thing I need is more makeup. Why did I get this? I have no idea, but it's a, um, it says, charming matte lipstick. Now, let's do this. I do have some on. I'll take that off. I just have like a very light gloss. You guys will see a lot of times in my videos, I got to get that tooth crown. See how it's all discolored? Horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. That's uh, something I'm going to be doing in the next few months. Now that I got the uh, insurance again starting over, I got to reach out to Dr. Ball. But yeah, that's the only one that's discolored on there. I don't know what happened, but that's going to be taken care of this year. A different color. Maybe that's why I got it, because the color is different. One thing about my honey is he hates lipstick. Lip liners, lip glosses, chapsticks. I mean, if it's clear and he can't tell, he just hates it. On anybody, it doesn't matter how big or how small your lips are. Doesn't matter if you have perfect lips and crooked teeth. He does not like lipstick. Never has on anyone. Models, me, nobody. Definitely not a model. But I like it, and I have thin lips. Obviously, this is probably throwing you off. But I have very thin lips. But let's uh try it out, shall we? That's why I keep a mirror here. So it's like a crayon. The texture is pretty smooth. And I do know that it's hard to uh, see the color. So what I will tell you, it's like a burnt orange just different I'm gonna have very small lips goes on nice and easy not overly creamy it's different for me but you know what I like to be different and I like it all right, down to two more products. I'm going to fix them. I'm dropping my... <gasps> oh, I thought I broke it. Uh, the brush is all over the place. All right, two more products. I had to get this. Um, now, Timu, I love... Again, I really recently started getting into their clothes a lot more. Love their hoodies. I love just some of the sayings and prints they have. I'm typically a very plain person. Very seldomly, you'll never really see me in floral. Or like polka dots or stripes. Very, very seldom. I wear a lot of solid with maybe a couple things here and there. But love my hoodies. I love my sweatshirts with them. But a lot of them will get the shredding. And, you know, I wash them after everywhere. Maybe I shouldn't. But they'll get the fuzzies and the lint. I can imagine this sweater doing that. Hello, this sweater. I mean, high quality. I'm telling you, this sweater I highly recommend. 
But anyway, it's a lint remover. It's a travel size, so that'll work. It was $2.96. And it says it's good for a vest sweater, skirt, sportswear, scarf, socks. And you can change the guard. Change thin guard can be used to shave must, whatever that is. Avoid using it in the clothes on body. When in use, place the part used to clear hair on the flat surface and level the clothes. Okay, and then it says not to press too hard. Never really used them, but $2.96. A lot of the times, Timo will have um, batteries already in or to work. This one does not, unless it's because there's a guard. Yeah, uh, let's see. They got the little guard there. Surprise, there's no um, extra pieces. Usually, Timo hooks you up with that, but there's not. I mean, there's the cover for it, but it's not charged up. Let's see what it takes for batteries. Um, two double A's, okay. So yeah, I've got quite a few pieces of clothes that I really want to get as much wear out of them as I can, so. I'll just clean up those little strands that fly away. Got one more product for you guys. This is a sad part of the hauls when it's almost time for an end. Um, and if we were to combine the other video at like 25, 28 minutes and this one at 41, pretty much at that one hour mark. It's amazing how I've gotten better at that. I mean, I think when I first started, some of my hauls were like an hour and a half. And I didn't even do that much of this. I don't think, I just went crazy. All right, so. One of the things, again, if you've seen my previous hauls, you know that, you know, I love gardening. I really don't have the time, though. Um, although I've got tons of things in my cart for potato sacks and strawberry vines and all this. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. God willing, this summer I can keep up with it, but Jade doesn't like to do that. And I get bored. I'm one of those people that swap the furniture around. I'll change the angle of the couch this way and put the entertainment unit over here. I do that about two times a year. I'll get new rugs just to, I'm like, I'm tired of the topes. Let's do a gray. Let's do a red accent. But anyway, back to the gardening. What I've noticed, and we hike quite a bit, is, you know, they have the inspirational rocks, and I started my crafting with rock painting, but um, the gnome gardens, those little fairy towns where they have the little mushrooms, and Timu has tons of stuff. Like, they'll, they'll have the little gnome doors, and I we don't really have a lot of trees living in the desert. You know, we got bushes and whatnot, and... I've got a lot of huge oversized pottery that, you know, I hand paint and spray paint. And anyway, get to the point, Shannon. Sorry. I love these little gnomes and the little fairy towns. I want to do um, the home sweet gnome, gnome sweet gnome. So I want to take um, an area maybe instead of, oh, God, but I really want my herbs and fresh veggies. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've got this big, like, bird bath. It's kind of, like, tiered, and um, the pump doesn't work on it, so I've been putting soil in there and, you know, little tiny flowers, but I think I'm going to make it because it's tiered like this. I'll have to send pictures, but um, it's got, like, a little birdhouse at the top, and then it comes down in tiers like this. I thought it would be so cute. Nobody's going to see it because they're so small to come over and really look. And I've seen these on hikes and things that I've done, but I've noticed that people have stolen them too because you guys just suck. It's like stealing from somebody's gravesite who does it. But anyway, these are so dang cute. I think I want to do it. I don't know. It's kind of like having a dollhouse. If we had a bigger house, man, I have my own craft room. Okay, you got your spare bedroom for guests, whatever. I want my craft room. Jake can have the garage to himself with his pool table and his neon lights that he collects and bar signs and and just give me my craft corner like a she shed my dream i've been begging him for like five years can i please i'm like i'm just gonna pay for it let me just get a little she shed right let me put in some lights in there i can go out and not bother him when i do my timu hauls and set it up and have oh my god i should just do it right i can't i gotta do everything with his permission but he won't let me do it I want a she shed. I was going to convert the back room in the garage into the craft room, but I got all my other Christmas decorations. And it's like, do I swap out one for the other? Do I just go through my art stuff and give it up? No, because I want to get into it. In fact, that's what I want to do right now. Where did I go from art to gnome town? Anyway, I'm just always coming up with new ideas and things. So um, I, I can't sit still. ADHD. 
but this is a four piece set and it was four dollars and fifty four cents so this dude here is supposed to be passed out drunk <laughs> right so you put him down sleeping this one is Jay I have a bigger one that I have pushed against one of my indoor potted plants this man has to pee outside everywhere he goes I, it's a guy thing. I, I don't know if it's like showing off like, hey, I can take my shirt off in the summer, but you can't. He just has to pee on everything. True story. We were in Columbia and there was no public restrooms and we went for a walk and there's this park and there were some shaded areas and he was ready. He was looking for a bush or something. And I'm like, please don't, please don't. And two cops approached him and said, oh, you know, we had complaints that you're peeing outside and he's like I didn't and he's like honestly I was going to and they're like oh no that's a fine almost got a ticket even though he didn't do it somebody must have seen him hunting for a spot looking around and I'm like stop peeing outside like come on like you don't even have to go it's like a little pss, pss, and you're done what's it's a guy thing I don't know but there's the four pieces so there's the third one and I didn't even realize like they're all drinking maybe that's why <laughs> I probably had a couple glasses of wine when I ordered all this stuff they're so cute. And then, of course, you got your little campfire. Do you guys have anything like this? Do you have a little fairy garden? What do you think? Do you think it's okay to mix, like, these little gnomes and dwarfs or whatever to mix them up with, um, like, fairies? I don't know. They're just uh, some fairy lights. I'm telling you. It's like a dollhouse. I would love to do it. Any ideas? Do you guys keep it inside or outside? Anyway, that's it. For this one. I know I have a couple packages still out for delivery, but I probably won't have time to get through them. Maybe I can mark them, but again, uh, today's the 24th, so do we have six, seven days, a week left. Um, I will be gone. I should be back Tuesday, but won't get into probably one o'clock in the morning. And then I think I only have Wednesday and Thursday off. So yeah, hopefully, like I said, by the first, I will pull out the draw drawing winner. Um, on my overnight, I have to go through everything from the first until this video. Um, everybody who's commented on my page, whether it was a thumbs up, that's enough. You don't have to say anything. Just give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're there and you will automatically be put in the drawing. But know that a lot of you have username dash four, five, five, five. There's no name and that's okay. I get like wanting to withhold information, but if you are selected as my winner, I might do two. I'm debating. We'll see how much my next paycheck is. Um, if I want to send you, you have to have a cash app or Venmo. You have to, cause I'm, I, I really am not comfortable with sending cashier's check. I'm not sending a personal check with my address on there, obviously. So cash app or Venmo, or give me a mailing address, and if I have to, I'll figure out how to do a gift card or something. I would love to send you something you can cash out. I would love for you to say, oh, here's $50, take it out of your account, go shopping on Timu, do Sheen, do whatever you want, treat yourselves. But those are uh, some of the things. If I pull your name, let's say I do the drawing on February 1st, and I pull your name, I will wait at least one week, meaning... If I pull your name on the first, I need to hear back from you by the 6th, 7th, five days to seven days. Quicker you respond to me, the better. So if I pull your name on February 1st, February 2nd, I get a message saying, hey, it's me. It's Courtney. You pulled my name. Here's my address. Just know everything will be kept confidential. I might have to get your address through Facebook Messenger. Um, but we'll figure out how to do it again, unless you guys know of another way that I could electronically send you, um, a Timu gift card if that exists, but I want to give you back something. Obviously I'll need an address regardless, PO box, whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with company address. And then I will, uh, you know, like I said, that's why cash app or Venmo is easier. I don't have to go to the post office and it's instant and it'll show me that you received it. But we'll we'll figure that out when we get there. I understand that uh, there, I have some friends in New Zealand and England and other parts of the world that might not have cash app or Venmo. We'll get through it together. One day at a time, right? Once again, thank you so much for being here. 
Thank you for all of my new subscribers, but especially for the support I've received from all of you. Uh, your acts of kindness, just saying you're sending prayers, hoping I'm feeling better, giving me advice, you know, to go seek some therapy or whatever. Um, thank you. I love you guys so much. Hope you have a blessed evening. I have to clean up this mess and get ready for bed. Be kind to each other. Have a good night. Good day. I said good day. Bye.